Hello and welcome to Kagan Selector Tools demo. This is the name selector. Uh, when you enter the name selector, it says please name your classes and select the class you would like to use or edit. So let's go ahead and name our class is. Uh, if I'm a uh, elementary teacher, I might just say uh, Miss Smith's class. Or if I am a high school teacher, it might be uh, period one, period two, and so on. So to get into the class, let's go ahead and hit select. And you'll see uh, the instructions here are to enter or edit your class list and then click OK. Uh, down below here, it says this is period one. So it says the name of the class. And if you'll notice here, uh, the students' names are uh, and comma separated value. Uh, so it's just a name, comma, name, comma, name, comma. And you want to make sure you end with uh, a name, comma, name. If you need a sample class to see how it's uh, formatted, go ahead and click the uh, sample class button. And uh, actually, because this is our sample class, uh, there was no changes there. So let's pretend we uh, erase that. And I click the sample class button, and that class comes right back in. Another way to uh, delete that class is you can hear, hit your clear class button and bring your class back in uh, that way. So I have my class entered, and I'm happy, actually. I just got a new student, and... I'm going to type in uh, this new student's name and let's add Peter to our class. Click OK. Uh, the next step is going to ask you how would you like to choose your students? And there's a few different options. You can randomly choose them. No repeat random, meaning randomly, but you'll never select the uh, same student twice until everybody else has been selected. Uh, list sequence, so it could be, uh, uh, you could have entered your list alphabetical, or in our case we entered Peter at the end and he was not alphabetical, so he would be the last to be selected. Um, the, you could select students in your class from A to Z, or Z to A. Uh, so let's do uh, no repeat random. And you get a message that it says it's ready. Press go to begin. And Becky is our first student that is selected. When Becky's done sharing her answer, go ahead and select the next student. And Brian's selected. If you'll notice down here, there's a little history button. Click that, and it will show a history of uh, who's been selected. So I have Becky and Brian selected. Click OK. It'll return to the last student selected, and I want to select the next student. And Michael selected. And the, go back to history, and it will just keep adding to your history. If at any point you want to clear out your history, you can press the uh, Clear History button, and it will clear your history. 